In public, they speak of the cooperation between their two countries, but in practice, there was little sign of it in 2016. The Kremlin's role in Syria has incensed the German chancellor. Angela Merkel says the Russian bombardment of Aleppo means UN sanctions should not be ruled out. She has also criticized Russia's involvement in the Ukraine crisis. In recent weeks, the Germans and French confirmed they would intensify EU sanctions against Moscow over it. If tensions have risen as a result, one Berlin-based analyst told me the Europeans blame the Russian government. It is not the European Union, it is not NATO that has taken uh, uh, to aggressive rhetoric vis-à-vis -vis Russia uh, or that has even taken to military actions in, uh, in its neighborhood. It is Russia. Perhaps unsurprisingly, the view from Moscow is different. They believe the EU should have a more sensible uh, policy of accepting the fact that the Russians have a right to special relations uh, with the countries in between. Uh, the former CIS states accept the fact that Russia should have a special role uh, in Ukraine and elsewhere, um, accept the fact that they want to have special trade relations, uh, and they don't understand why the EU can't understand this. If that's true, then they might understand even less a recent EU decision to spend more on defence budgets. It's no secret that the Commission president favours the creation of an EU military force. But the prospect of a European army is still a distant one. For the moment, at least, it's the organisation based here at NATO, which is a guarantor of European security. And here, the official view is that a threat to one member state is a threat to all. Which explains why these German soldiers are preparing to deploy to Lithuania, part of a multinational force patrolling NATO and the EU's easternmost borders. They believe it's a show of solidarity with historical partners. But how Vladimir Putin regards it is another matter. In a recent news conference, he set out why. We need to follow closely any changes in the balance of forces and military political developments in the world, especially along Russia's borders, and make timely amendments to our plans in order to neutralize potential threats our country may face. Which means the chance of a Russo-European détente in 2017 seems distant. Dominic Kane, Al Jazeera, Brussels.